my name is Lama Ghassan Yusuf. I work at Amel Association International. Amel is a non-sectarian uh, local NGO, a Lebanese NGO. Uh, uh, Amel is, has been in the field for the last 35 years, uh, working through its 24 uh, centers and uh, six mobile clinics located in the most poorest area in Lebanon. Uh, uh, from Beirut to Bekaa uh, to uh, South Lebanon. Uh, Amel is uh, offering accessible services to uh, uh, most vulnerable uh, population uh, in the following fields, uh, medical, uh, uh, psychosocial support, uh, child protection, uh, uh, vocational training, and uh, human rights. Amel started in 1979 during the Lebanese Civil War. Uh, they offered uh, uh, accessible services to all without discrimination, uh, mainly in the medical, she started in the medical, uh, offering medical services uh, with the partnership with the local partner and the international partner. Uh, first, uh, as we said, they need to be, they need to have a very good knowledge about the culture of the of the community they're going or the refugee they're going to work with, and to uh, and to have a thorough uh, mapping of the area of implementation. It's really, really important to coordinate with the other organization working in the in the area to uh, prevent the application of activity and uh, enhance uh, complementarity of the activities. Uh, as we previously said, we need to conduct first the uh, needs assessment uh, prior to the designing of the project to make sure that we're uh, meeting the needs and uh, to have a long uh, work plan, to work on a long work plan. You have first the security situation may hinder the work uh, you're implementing. Um, for AML, they have center in Arsene. So the, there's a lot of uh, uh, social and uh, tension between, and political tension between the host community and the refugee. Uh, social and economic empowerment, uh, they will rely less on uh, AIDS and uh, they will decrease the, the violence and the aggressive behaviors uh, as the, the refugee will feel more integrated within the community and they, they feel that they're uh, more self-confidence and they're uh, contributing to the society they're living in. For Lebanon, uh, Syrian refugees were allowed to work until two th earlier 2015, until the national authority suspended such right. Uh, now Syrians are uh, looking for jobs in, in the informal sectors. And as we know, in the informal sectors, uh, uh, let's say labor rights are few, and uh, Syrians are more exposed to exploitation and uh, abuse at their work. Uh, uh, now Syrians are, uh, are forced to, to, to sign a pledge uh, not to work and to, to, to rely only on humanitarian, uh, uh, humanitarian aid. And in case, uh, in case uh, they, they, will, they will have a sponsorship or, uh, sponsorship or um, uh, uh, work per permission, they will, they, will, uh, they will be named as a, a migrant, their start will be a migrant worker instead of refugee, uh, despite that UNHCR are still counting them as a refugee. They only can work in the third sector job, like agriculture, uh, uh, construction, and cleaning services. And as, as we said, the, 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 the uh, abuse there is, is more, uh, uh, there's more risk for abuse. And uh, one of the challenges I mean, they're facing that uh, more tension uh, because of the Syrian employment is, uh, is seen or faced between the Lebanese and the Syrian because for the Lebanese, Syrian are taking their job opportunities and uh, Syrian will have less uh, ability to integrate within the host community because of the tension. Uh, 
for a amal, uh, most of the of such a project are implemented in community center and in, in the community center uh, refugee feel uh, as if it's their second home they feel that uh, they're uh, free to to express themselves to to build relation a friendship at the community center to uh, uh, exchange uh, 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 good practices and even the challenges uh, plus uh, the vocation training given at the community center will help them to have self-confidence and to have uh, to, to, to have uh, like a way to afford living uh, and they're working on their capacity building like uh, uh, livelihood li uh, life skills uh, sessions and everything which will help them to uh, to to face the problem in a better way and to have uh, to be more integrated within the community they're living in. Uh, they cannot register a business, I think. Uh, and uh, to overcome, I think it will need uh, a, poli a national political uh, advocacy. As we said, we have the vocational training given uh, to, the, to, to the refugee. Uh, we have the creation of committees or community groups. Uh, and these community groups or the members of the groups are uh, given or receiving uh, uh, life skills and uh, training to, to build their capacity and their skills. I think uh, also more coordination between the ministry and the, and the organization and uh, link, linking between uh, the job markets and, uh, and uh, the, the vocational training given by the, by the organizations. It's a way of expression trauma or a psycho, psychological problem through art. It's a tool that uh, everyone can use uh, despite their background. Um, I think through art, uh, uh, people feel more free or safe to express their feeling. And uh, it's a tool or a basic basis for uh, deeper uh, psychosocial discussion.